Hello and a very warm welcome to the channel. Today we are going to show you how to display Sky Demon in VR with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The good news is that what we are about to show you will work with both monitor and VR setups. With the monitor setup, you will have the option to display Sky Demon either on your mobile phone, tablet, or PC screen, or could even display Sky Demon on all of them at the same time. So to make this possible, we will require a couple of paid programs. One of the paid programs we will require is called XMAPSI. XMAPSI is how the simulator connects to Sky Demon. This is the piece of software that sends all the information so Sky Demon can calculate things like ground speed, altitude, direction of travel, in the same way Sky Demon uses GPS in the real world. So if you are planning on using Sky Demon in VR, and not just on your mobile device or PC screen, then you will need a way to displaying Sky Demon in your VR headset as an overlay. For this, we use FS Desktop. This has the capability of displaying all of your desktop apps, not just Sky Demon in Microsoft Flight Simulator. FS Desktop works in VR, or can be displayed on your monitor. Not only can this be used to display Sky Demon, but also it has the capability of displaying photos taken of sectional charts or a PDF of your pilot log, which would be helpful for practicing your VFR cross-country flights. How it works is any app that is not minimized will have the option to be displayed in FS Desktop. This means you could display any app not minimized within the game. Even your favorite YouTube videos can be played while flying along or even while attempting to land. At this point, I'm making the assumption that you already have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and Sky Demon installed. If not, please install these first. Link in the description for Sky Demon and you can get Microsoft Flight Simulator from Steam. So without further delay, let's get downloading and installing XMAPSI. To install XMAPSI, go to xmapsi.com. Then at the top of the webpage, there's a buy XMAPSI v3 link. This will then take you to simmarket.com. Then click add to cart. Then at the top of the screen, next to the search bar, there's a basket icon. Hover over that and click proceed to checkout, log in or create account. Then download and install it. Once installed, run the program, and it will appear in the hidden icons accessible from the right of your taskbar. Right-click and then click Settings. In Settings, you will need to set the following. Under Select Message Format, you will need to select Use ADS-B Forward slash GDL 90 Format. Under Select Preferred Technology, you can select either Use SIM Connect or automatic. Under position select GDL90 and use Sky Demon mode. I leave traffic data unselected. Under network, I select broadcast to all current subnet and the rest of the options below I leave unselected. Load Microsoft Flight Simulator and we will check that it can connect to the sim by waiting for the XMAPSI icon to turn from red to green. Now load Sky Demon. At the top of the screen, click Setup. Then click Third Party Devices. Then click the checkbox next to GL90 Compatible Device. If you manage to set everything up correctly, it should now work. To display your simulated aircraft in Sky Demon, click Go Flying, then click Use GDL90 Compatible Device. As long as your aircraft is loaded in the game, it should now be displayed in Sky Demon. If you want to use it in VR, then next we must install FS Desktop, so head on over to www.fsdesktop.com. Click on either Try Free or Buy Now. This is located at the top right of FS Desktop's webpage. Fill in your details and install it. Once installed, run it and it will appear in the shortcut option by hitting Tab when you're sitting in the cockpit of your selected plane. Once FS Desktop is open 
and as long as Sky Demon is not minimized, you should see it in the window picker list. Click Sky Demon, and voila! You are now ready to fly with Sky Demon by your side. A problem I found with Sky Demon open in FS Desktop was that it made the game a little jumpy. If this happens to you, the best way I found to stop it was to turn the image quality to low and the refresh rate to slow. Because Sky Demon updates at 1 second intervals, I didn't see any difference in the quality in which Sky Demon was displayed. To do this, click the hamburger menu which is the three line menu at the top right of FS Desktop, then select low for image quality and slow for refresh rate. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, as this will encourage me to produce more content like this. Thank you for spending the time to watch the video, have a great day, and I hope to see you on the next video.